So this weekend was pretty tense. Massive fight between the board of OpenAI and Sam Altman. There are a lot of plot twists back and forth, but you might be wondering at the end of the day, who was going to win? Was it Sam Altman? Was it the board of OpenAI, allegedly led by Ilya Sutskever? Well, the final winner is Microsoft. It's Satya Nadella. Microsoft hires former OpenAI CEO Sam Altman. Greg Brockman, OpenAI co-founder, is also joining Microsoft to lead a new advanced AI research team. I believe this also includes the three senior AI researchers who left OpenAI to protest the firing of Sam Altman. Someone needs to do a deep fake of Satya Nadella as Littlefinger from Game of Thrones going, you know what chaos is? Chaos is a ladder. Because that's exactly what happened here. In the chaos of everything that's happening, once the dust settles, it's important to understand that now Microsoft has control of both the top talent as well as OpenAI and everything that they have under that umbrella. And it pretty much fully controls them. OpenAI is relying on Microsoft for, well, their, their cloud services, the massive access that they have to NVIDIA's hardware, Azure cloud services. That's kind of what they're talking about is being, is having the hardware that is needed to to build and train these AIs to run inference, meaning to actually have it run and answer questions, et cetera. So OpenAI needs Microsoft. They're relying on Microsoft. And now that they have the top talent working for Microsoft, it seems like Microsoft has it all under their control. Also, Ilya Sutskever was kind of the guy that everybody said, this is the guy behind it. This is the guy that kind of led this insurrection, this coup. He says, I deeply regret my participation in the board's actions. I never intended to harm OpenAI. I love everything we've built together and I will do everything I can to reunite the company. Does that mean he's going to go to Microsoft as well? I mean, that would be one way to reunite the company. In another plot twist, we have Emmett Shear, who used to be the CEO of Twitch. Twitch, if you're not familiar, is the game streaming platform now under the Amazon umbrella where we have people basically playing games and streaming into the wide world. They have tons of following. It's very, very popular. I personally don't know too much about Emmett Shear, but so far the feedback about him, the things that people have said about him has been exceptional. People seem to really think highly of him, think of him as a, a great person for this role. I will have to do a little bit more research on who this person is, but certainly I'm a big fan of Twitch. It's incredible what they've done. I think they have a huge influence now, even on YouTube that I feel has changed a lot of things in the last, let's say, five years or so to be a little bit more like Twitch. Because back in 2011, 2012, when I was just starting to do stuff online, YouTube was a very different place. A lot of people back then completely dismissed YouTube as a way to engage and build an audience. It, it, just the whole thing was different. Twitch, I think, in a lot of ways really unlocked how to do it right. So Emmett Shear says basically he accepts the position. He's been speaking to the board and trying to understand what's happening. Open AI employees are extremely impressive, as you might have guessed, and mission driven in the extreme. And so he believes that the communication, the process of Sam's removal has been handled very badly, which yes, I feel like they erased the $86 billion valuation of that company or came close to potentially. Maybe some of this will be recovered, but man, was that bad. And he has a three point plan for the next 30 days hired an independent investigator to dig into the entire process leading up to this point and generate a full report. Hopefully that report will be available to all. I think that's what he's saying because we still have a lot of questions. And at this point, one thing that's important to mention is that it seems like the negotiations between the board, Sam Altman, and I believe Satya Nadella was sort of the one that was helping to run those negotiations. They ran late into the night, maybe 2 a.m., 3 a.m. And it seemed like the board basically was saying, there's no way we want Sam Altman to be back at OpenAI. It seems like that was their number one concern. That's the only thing that they didn't want to happen. They just didn't want Sam Altman back. So they were willing to leave. They were willing to walk away from their roles. They were willing to potentially, it seems like, just erase the valuation of OpenAI. Ideally, hopefully within the next 30 days, we're going to have this report that tells us everything we need to know about what happened, which is exciting. I hope this doesn't become one of those things where we just, you know, six months for, from now, still nobody knows what the heck happened. And he's going to continue to speak to as many of our employees, partners, investors, and customers as possible, taking good notes and share the key takeaways. So that's kind of vague, it seems to me. Reform the management and leadership team in light of recent departures into an effective force to drive results for our customers. I mean, yeah, they, it seems like they lost the top people. 
and he uses the promise to drive change in the organization up to and including pushing strongly for significant governance changes if necessary. So that means maybe OpenAI not being a nonprofit, not having the governance laws that it does. And so it looks like he posted this at 1 a.m. Looks like he's in San Francisco, so 1 a.m. Pacific, I would assume. Oh, but this is interesting. PPS. Before I took the job, I checked on the reasoning behind the change. The board did not remove Sam over any specific disagreement on safety. Their reasoning was completely different from that. I'm not crazy enough to take this job without board support for commercializing our awesome models. Okay, so curiouser and curiouser. The thing is just more and more murky. I do hope we get that report. As I mentioned in the previous video, there have been rumors, and we don't know if this is true or not, but there have been rumors of Sam basically talking to big money from the Middle East. So some large fund or some very, very wealthy investors that would be potentially interested in investing in Sam Altman. So sort of outside of OpenAI or anything else that he's doing, investing in him to develop a competitor to NVIDIA to basically build these very advanced AI chips. Now, right now, you might be aware that a lot of the, well, pretty much all of the world manufactures these advanced chips that are used pretty much everywhere for for ai for gaming for you know crypto and anything else like that something like 96 percent of the world's advanced chips microchips are made in one tiny place they're made in taiwan so taiwan produces 60 percent of the world's chips but when we're talking about specifically the advanced chips that are used for ai that percent is even larger it's in the 90s and the TSMC, I believe, that's the big company that produces them. And so now with the U.S. CHIP Act, there seems to be a strong push by the U.S. government to try to bring some of that away from Taiwan, either to build here in the U.S., or at the very least, just diversify away from that small place over which there's a lot of you know, potential conflict. There's been a lot of conflict over Taiwan with China. People are fearing even potentially a war that could that could break out but it's definitely a very kind of intense heated situation so tons of money is being poured into trying to replicate their success and being able to build these semiconductors these chips somewhere else maybe on u.s soil or at least away from that area of the world so certainly people with very deep pockets would love to invest in somebody like sam altman who has seen exactly where this whole ai thing is going who knows exactly what kind of hardware is needed to just throw a bunch of money at him to build out an NVIDIA competitor. That seems like a great investment, honestly. Some rumors was that that was the thing that started driving the company apart because Sam Altman was trying to do this thing on the side. He was trying to maybe raise his own net worth off of the OpenAI's name. Now, again, these are just rumors. We don't know if it's true or not. And that's why I think it's so important that we do get this report, that we do hear from Sam and hopefully even Ilya, that they come out and say, hey, here was the issue. Here's what's what's happening. Here's why this rift developed. But it seems like so far the TLDR is that Sam and Greg are going over to Microsoft. Emmett Shear is going to run OpenAI, or at least what is left of it. We'll see who decides to stay at OpenAI, who decides to go into Microsoft. In California, there's no enforceable non-compete. All employment is at will. So people are going to go wherever they please. So here's Satya Nadella saying, we remain committed to our partnership with OpenAI and have confidence in our product and our product roadmap, our ability to continue to innovate with everything we've announced at Microsoft Ignite and in continuing to support our customers or partners. We look forward to getting to know Emma Shear and OpenAI's new leadership team and working with them. And we're extremely excited to share the news that Sam Altman and Greg Brockman, together with colleagues, will be joining Microsoft to lead a new advanced AI research team. We look forward to moving quickly to provide them with the resources needed for their success. Elon Musk jumps in. Now they will have to use Teams instead of Google Meet as they have been. So, so it's important to understand now that potentially now Microsoft will have everything that they need to recreate GPT-4 and potentially also any more advanced versions of that that have been created. If Sam and Greg shared the weights with the team at Microsoft, that would basically mean that they now have it all. And they also have the distribution, they have the products, the users, the talent. Elon Musk posted this yesterday. Microsoft is currently conducting, this is a clip that he took out of, I'm not sure where exactly, but Microsoft is currently conducting the largest infrastructure build-out that humanity has ever seen. While that may seem like hyperbole, look at the annual spend of mega projects such as 
nationwide rail networks, dams, or even space programs such as the Apollo moon landings, and they all pale in comparison to the greater than 50 billion annual spend on data centers Microsoft has spent in for 2024 and beyond. The infrastructure build out is aimed squarely at accelerating the path to AGI and bringing the intelligence of generative AI to every facet of life. So is Microsoft about to become the AI juggernaut that has it all? The money, the talent, the most advanced model. That's kind of what it seems like right now. So we'll see how this plays out. This is a very developing story, so please keep that in mind. Some of these things may may end up not being true, but so far we're, we're, we're hearing a lot of this straight from the horse's mouth. Satya Nadella already posted, Emma Shear posted, Ilya posted. We have confirmation of a lot of these things. Another interesting thing was that Mir Mirati seems to be on Team Sam because she was trying to get him back into OpenAI. So it does seem like maybe she wasn't, so some people were saying that maybe she was aligned with Ilya and whatever he was doing, but it seems like maybe not so much. Either way, stay tuned. As crazy as this was, I think this is just the beginning. One final thing about Emmett Shear, he does believe that we need to slow down AI development. In his words, he was saying, if right now we're moving at a 10 out of 10, and a pause would be taking that to, you know, zero out of 10, then he thinks we probably need to be at somewhere like a one or a two. So a lot of people on the EAC, the effective accelerationism, you know, they did not want to hear that. So that's something to be aware of that a lot of people that were cheering on Sam Altman and the gang, maybe a little bit more colder toward Emmett, but maybe he'll change his opinion once he gets into open AI and maybe sees what's behind the curtain. Because Sam Altman hinted at the fact that once he saw how the development of AI was progressing, he felt a lot better, that it was a lot safer. He was kind of vague about it, but maybe Emmett Shear will also change his tune and say, hey, yeah, it's all good. Let's go, you know, crank it up to 11. Anyways, stay tuned. It's going to be exciting. Make sure you subscribe to get the latest. My name is Wes Roth, and thank you for watching.